looks like a pretty nice fish. Real nice fish. Yeah, this is what I've been waiting for right here. Hi, I'm Mark Peterson, fish biologist with Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. If you've ever wondered how to walleye fish but didn't know where to go, what to use, or how to use it, hopefully today's video will help get you on the road to success. Today we're going to be fishing the Alder Street Fill located in downtown Moses Lake. This is where Crab Creek enters into Moses Lake. During the month of April, walleye are running up Crab Creek to spawn, and this is an excellent time for shore anglers to be able to intercept those walleye. This is a rather unique fishery in that there's not a lot of areas for shore anglers to catch walleye, and there's a very short window in which you can do it. So let's go down, do some fishing, and see what happens today. All right, fish on, first fish of the day right here. Feels like pretty nice fish. Oh yeah. Looks like about an average size walleye. Let's see if we can get him in here. Nice fish. Come on over. There we go. Excellent. There's a nice size walleye right there. Great eating size. I'd like to take a second and just talk about the kind of uh, lures that I'm using today. As a novice walleye angler myself, I like to keep things simple. So today I've been using a couple of different types of rubber uh, baits. This first one is a grub. It's about a three inch grub with copper flack. That seems to be pretty popular down here. Also, I've got tube jigs. Um, this particular one has copper fleck as well, and I'm using a eighth ounce jig head for both of them. And the reason that I'm using the eighth ounce jig head today is because the water flows a little bit slower. Uh, I don't get down into the rocks or the weeds as fast and get hung up as much. I want this to go to the bottom and just lightly bounce along the bottom as I fish. This jig head can be used with either of these, so it's very simple. I like to keep it simple, and that's how I do it. We talked a little bit about the tackle that I've used today and now I want to show you the fishing rod that I'm using. I'm using a medium lightweight fishing rod with six pound test line. Um, some people may prefer a little bit heavier line and rod. Whatever your preference is, whatever you're comfortable with is fine. This is just what I'm comfortable with and so I enjoy using it. And uh, how I do this is I cast out, you can see that there's a little current uh, flowing by here, and as I, I'll cast out as far as I can, and I'll allow that bait to sink down to the bottom. I've probably got about eight or nine feet of depth out there, so it's gonna take five or six seconds for it to hit the bottom, and then once I feel the bottom, I'm just gonna pop my rod just a little bit and ensure that it continues to bounce right along the bottom as I fish, and that's all there is to it. Looks like a pretty nice fish. Real nice fish. Yeah, this is what I've been waiting for right here. Nice walleye. Nice. 
there we go. That's what I've been waiting for right there. All right, just caught this beautiful 24 inch walleye. Looks like a female heading up Crab Creek to spawn. These fish are excellent eating year round. Uh, anytime you catch them, they're great table fare. The regulation for walleye in Moses Lake is eight fish, one over 22 inches per day. The reason we have a liberal regulation on walleye in Moses Lake is because there's an abundance of small fish and we encourage you to come out and harvest those fish. We thank you for watching this video and we hope it brings you many years of successful walleye angling. One thing to keep in mind is that by early May, many of these walleye will have completed their spawn and began their journey back to the main lake. At this point, they'll undergo a short period of recovery followed by active feeding. After that, they'll be targeted primarily by boat anglers. On the other hand, shore fishing will become much more difficult. So what you saw here today is short-lived. So if you can't fish this April, mark your calendars for next April and take advantage of this unique shore fishery. Thanks for watching, be safe, and fish Washington.